First step in the project will be to get a digital image that we want to use. So we'll just go to google.com, search for the image, and click images. And click on the image, we can view the image, and then with two fingers, tap on the mouse pad and save image as. We can choose my drive, and down here at the bottom of this screen, we can name the image. And save. Okay. Second thing we are going to do is we can also go to various websites to get a sound file if they wanted to get a sound file or we can just use the stock sound files that are in the program we're going to use. The program we're going to use is WeVideo. We can find that. We have loaded it on the Chromebook. So if we go down to the launcher, looks like a magnifying glass and type in WeVideo. We can click on it. It will ask for some allowances at various points. So we just click allow and it automatically registers the student. Uh, here we can skip or have the students watch how-to videos. Um, this is the first screen and we can upload media. So we would upload our book cover and we would upload uh, any music that we provided that we're not going to use the stock audio. So upload and then browse to select. And we select where we have stored that stuff, which is going to be in my drive. So we click on my drive. And I didn't do a sound file. I just did the book cover. And then open down in the bottom right. And upload to the media file library for Wii Video. When it says done, we're done. We can just X out of here and then choose create a video and start editing. All right. I like to work in the uh, timeline. So choosing the main menu, we can go down to timeline mode. That gives us more options. Okay. So this is uh, the timelines down here, we have a video section, we have a main section, and then if we scroll down, we have an audio. We have two audios that they give us from the beginning. So all I simply, if I don't want, this is a title screen, so I can click this little edit tool, and if I want an introductory title, like To Kill a Mockingbird by uh, this student and this student, we can do that here. Otherwise, we can just delete it by putting it in the waste basket. And now, the first thing I'm going to do is drag my picture down to the video. The second thing I want to have the students do is go to the audio. And so to record your audio narration, which is the interview that the students are going to do, they simply press this microphone in one of the audio tracks and it will start uh, bringing you to the screen. We want to press this button to start recording. Gives us a countdown and now we simply continue to speak and do our interview script. And when the interview script is done, we can click stop. And if we think we like it, uh, you can preview it. And now we simply continue to speak and do it. We just simply hit the check mark. And it returns back to our timeline. So we have our audio there. The end of our audio is there. So I only spoke for nine seconds. So we'd want to scroll back up to the picture and on the edge, drag it to be at the end of this, and 
down in audio here, we can choose an audio from the stock by hitting this music button, going into dance party, maybe some blues, and I can drag that down to this. Drag it for how long I want it from the end, just drag. And so some of your students may want it just at the beginning. Okay, like that. And now we can finish. It sets. Test video. And we're going to choose Save to Google Drive. So we save in this first one. And then scroll down and finish video. And then the next step would be to just let it render and then send the link to the video in our Google Drive to turn it into you.